Good afternoon everyone, it's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. So this is Holly by Linda Murray and Holly, if you saw, um, I had her up for sale as a girl. Um, however, her mommy wanted to see Holly as a boy so he is going home as a boy. So I just did uh, just so some quick pictures in the outfit that he's wearing and then in this um, is a sleeper it's blue and green striped it's also got a little um, penguin on the side so I'm sending this home oh I forgot I was gonna bring the box over let me grab the box really quick so I left it over in the living room okay so now I have the box close by already so this little one was adopted earlier today. I did have a couple of people interested and I just left it up to whoever purchased first. So this little one is going home, like I said, as a boy instead. So, and I do have some paperwork. Let's see, can you hold all of that? So my thank you card that I'm sending and I have a little elephant in there and so I'm just gonna stick that in and I have some balloon animal stickers they're they're really firm I don't know what to call it but this one's yellow with it looks like pink pink and blue and brown it looks like polka dots so I'm just going to stick that on the thank you card there. You can see it. It is cloudy right now. Uh, it had been raining and then snowing and then raining and now it's back to being just cloudy. It's warm so it's not snowing. Um, but yeah, it's just been weird weather. But praise the Lord, we've had a lot of moisture lately, which is great because then, of course, flowers are going to start coming up. The grass is getting green. Hold on, I gotta let the dog out. I tried making this video two other times. He scratches at the door. I open the door before starting the video and I even the second time I told him, okay, get out. He didn't go anywhere. He just sat there. So I was like, okay, make up your mind. I, I even said, okay, you better not want out while I'm doing the video then. And of course he wants out. So anyway, he's out. Hopefully he stays out. It is kind of chilly. Like I said, the sun's not shining. It was out. The sun was out. And now it's cloudy again. I don't know. But anyway, so here is the, the COA. Um, my COA, I guess you call it. Um, birth certificate, which has all my info there if you want to pause it and look. And also all of... I left the baby's name because I wasn't given a name and I didn't ask, I'm so sorry. Um, but usually the mommies, they like to see the babies and then decide on a name, right? So anyhow, that's all of Holly's information. And so that will go home with him. Let's see. I was thinking of calling him Harry, but I think there actually, there is a Harry kit already. I mean, uh, um, by Linda Marie. I think there's a Holly kit as well. Or a Harry kit, I mean. Maybe I'll have to order that one as well. So I'm going with a green balloon animal sticker this time. It's like a unicorn because it has a little, the horn on the head. So it's like a unicorn. Alright, I'm just going to put this over with the thank you card. And then... Uh, Holly is an open edition, so there isn't... Plus McPherson's, if you order heads, they don't come with COAs. So she, or I mean he is, open edition, no COA. Okay, so these are my care instructions. How to take care of the baby. Um, more information about the baby, type of clothes, kit, all that. And then I have a, like, repair. If she were to get, or he were to get, um... shiny with handling and whatnot that can happen so I have like a 
um, formula as to mix up some air dry varnish. So. And then also I have a warning that I have on the back of all of my um, care instructions that there is strong magnets in this baby and not to keep them or not to, you know, keep it away from, um, you know, people with um, pacemakers and electronics as well. So I'm just going to grab all of this. Oh, I just remembered I don't have any. My business cards aren't in here. I'm just going to grab some really quick. I always, there's always something. And I always think I'm ready and then I get to everything and it's like, whoops. So here are my business cards. I always send three with each baby. Just in case, you know, family, friends, whoever may want a baby. Um, I have that to send. Or they can give them out to their friends' cards, you know, if they, if they wish to do so. It's up to them, of course. So here's everything. It's not showing. I can't see the business cards, but they are in there. So I'm going to close this up and grab another sticker. I think we'll go with a blue. It's like a sky blue. This one's just a regular like balloon horse, it looks like. Very nice. Cute, cute, cute. And so what's next? So I've got... These are Kirkland brand size one diapers. They are white and they've got like a little um, like tribal looking, I guess, design bird. And there's blue, like a teal blue um, feather all over as well as like some little polka dots. Yeah, just a size one on the back there. And he is also wearing one as well. So these two are extras. I'll just put them back here as well. This is a um, toothbrush that I'm sending. I send these with my combi babies. As you can see, he has a little bit of hair on top and the rest is painted. So this, um, apparently you had to order a thousand if you want them to etch your nursery name in the brush. And yeah, no. so this is a soft bristle. Uh, I believe this is bamboo brush. So just use it, you know, to style um, the hair. However, um, I did root the hair to be the same as it is painted. So, but anyhow, so there's that. So I'll put that off to the side as well. And then we also have, I have some little hand mitts here. The hands looked too um, bulky with them on so I'm just gonna put them in a bag with the pacifiers and I did grab him two pacifiers if I can get the hand mitts in here there we go hand mitts in the or again the bag so I have a little this is the uh, Nuck brand and it's got a um, monkey on it so of course I thought that would be great to send with him, with his monkey theme. So. And then this one, oh, I didn't read, there's like glue on here. Okay, hold on. Good thing that like E6000 comes off really easy. Anyhow, so this is a um, blue, it's actually a darker blue than it's showing up, isn't it? No, it's, it's, it is a little darker, I guess. Um, there, if I put it on him, there, now it looks, this is the, more of the natural color. And these are newborn size pacifiers. The blue is a little bit bigger, but I'm just going to leave them in there, like so, and put them off to the side as well. And, or just have the monkey left. All right, so, just the monkey. And he's got fuzz, of course. So this little guy is a jelly cat. He's got a tail. 
that's different color than the rest of him. I guess it matches his face, right? So it's really cute. He's not jingly. I was kind of sad when I found him and picked him up and rattled him in the store and he wasn't <laughs> jingling. People thought probably thought I was crazy. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so this is his monkey that he's going home with. Okay, and now we just have him. So I'm so sorry. I did not have very many boy clothes, like not ready for um, cuddle babies. So this onesie is the only one that I had with the little hand mitts that go over top. So it's a zero to three months and it is a little big, I'll admit, but it still looks good. It fits. I'll get a up close. She, or he, sorry, has um, teal glass, German glass eyes. They are flat backs. And then the there are, there is a little bit of rooted lashes on the bottom, and then the top lashes are glued in. So I just I wasn't having a good time with the top eyelashes, so I decided just to glue some. And of course, this baby has a pale yellow um, doe suede body, and the whole baby is whoops um, cloth. And I do have little socks they have a, a yellow giraffe and then I think that's a giraffe I don't know it's a cartoony looking giraffe anyway it's got orange spots two of them and it looks like bubbles or just circles or something on the rest of the sock dark blue on the toes and the ankles and I think even the tops yeah top of the socks also and then um and then he's wearing just some gray dark gray pants that I had that are newborn size. So this little one, um, he can fit, oh I didn't show the hair, sorry. So, oops, think here. Opposite, it's opposite to me. It actually will be like the right way to you guys, but for me it's mirrored. So you can see some of the hair is rooted and then you can see the painted hair under it. Oh, I didn't show the little like birthmark here. So on my cuddle babies, I put a little heart um, somewhere on their face, of course, because I normally it goes on one of the legs, but because um, he's a cuddle baby, I put it on the cheek instead. These are gently used um, clothes, so for the pants I took the tags, and um, the diapers are new, of course. Um, but gently used clothing, I use a lot of gently used clothing because it's just uh, easier and it costs less, keeps the price down um, of the babies. I do like to usually, I do send something new, so this blanket is brand new. Tags have been removed, of course, so I can, of course, get the baby together. Um, so here is, this is the ribbon that was on the blanket, so I'm going to put that on the baby as well. All right, so let's get him wrapped up and ready to go because I plan on taking him to the post office today. So, all right, let's see. I think that's enough at the top there. Oh yeah, and I do have the ribbon. I was just thinking like, what about the ribbon? And the eyelashes, especially worry about those um, long eyelashes. It's so cute how like a lot of little boys have really long eyelashes. Just adorable. All right, what's happening here? <laughs> there we go. All right, don't fall off. I don't know if that's twisted. I don't want it to be twisted. I'm trying to feel underneath. Make sure it's not. Of course. 
I like these blankets that come with the ribbon already. Then I just tie it and it's ready to go, right? <laughs> All right, where's the baby? Let's see him before we box him up. <gasps> how cute. Look how sweet. Aww. Gonna have some pretty bad travel hair, I think, but that's all right. So this blanket I can use for another baby. Because this one, this one was for Holly if she were going as a girl. So of course I don't want to send a, a pink blanket. So I'll save that one for the next baby. It might be for Ava by Cassie Brace. That one I'm still working on as my um, oops, um, weekend baby. She still needs hair, still needs eyebrows and all that. I haven't, I, I don't know, do you just get to the point where you just don't really feel like doing anything? Like lately I just haven't really felt like, um, I feel, feel like painting. I'm okay with painting. I like that. I'm just checking on those lashes. I just worry about the lashes so much. Okay. So, but I mean, I didn't really have time to paint on the weekend. And so I thought, well, all wrapped and ready for the box. So I didn't paint on the weekend because I, or well, at night I did a little, didn't I? I don't remember. So, but I just, I don't know, I should have painted, but I was like, I mean, on Ava. She's my weekend baby. But I didn't, because I just, I just wasn't feeling up for it, you know. Thank you, baby. Look really nice and presentable for her mommy. Ah, oh, all right. So. And this is a 16 by um, 16 by 10 by 10. So there's not a whole lot of room here, thankfully. Um, there's enough, of course, for the baby and everything. All right, how do I? I want to be able to, you know, maybe I'll. We'll go sideways. There, can no. I was like, can you see in there? Kind of. Okay. So these are the feet, heads up here, and we're good. Okay. Next. I was trying. To, I'm always like wondering, you know, did I put this or that in the right spot? So I want to put the diapers across the head and body. There we go. And. Oh yeah, those pacifiers, I want them not near the, not near the edge. This is the sleeper. And we have the two magnetic pacifiers and the little hand mitts. So I want them well, near, the, near the middle. Here we go. That way they're not going to like get stuck to the edge of the box. So, because yeah, don't want that. And then the monkey. He's so cute. So the monkey, I think there might be room next to her head here. I'll just squish him in there. Where's the tail? Okay. And then put the tail there. Arms here. Head there. We're good. This looks fantastic. Okay, so I'll just kind of gently push the ends of this plastic crab. Can you, oh, uh, you can't really see. Let me see. Hold on, motion sickness just for a moment, hopefully. This tripod, I don't know. I, I keep thinking about getting a new one, but it's like $60 for a tripod. That's even for like a El cheapo -y kind of thing, right? So it's like, mm, I don't know. 
So maybe stick that there. Is that within? Yeah. Okay. So that's the little um, comb or brush in there. And then I just want to kind of tuck these along the edges just to create a nice like buffer. So there is still like three inches, but that's okay because I have a lot of packing stuff. So probably put in some paper around the perimeter, but I'm, let me make sure that this fits as well. Oh, perfect. That's like a perfect fit. Look at that. Can you see that? Like edge to edge, there's like no room. Awesome. Okay, so then I will close this up and after I put some paper in here because I don't like any like possible moving around if you've ordered anything from me um, even on Etsy I don't really like anything moving and I forgot to share but this says adopted as usual okay and there, now there's a hair you're not going <laughs> okay sorry about that okay so anyhow Gonna get some paper along these edges and possibly some packing peanuts. And I'm gonna get this little one ready to go to the post office today. So thank you all again so much for watching.